and salute. But I must also not forget to mention our host. Every represented here by the director, Mrs. Olaidi Oyiri, who is standing in for the director general. I won't come with this, sir. Mrs. Olaidi, please can you come over to the item this time? <laughs> Thank you very, very sincerely. Come with that here, let's take it back. Let's step it down. Let's educate in our unions. And that way, we'll be rest assured that this school is succeeding. Come on, Willie. Is that it? Quickly. In Nigeria, what guys? Here, we got. Thank you very much. On behalf of my general, who is one of the body we have sent, we want to thank you very much. We are appreciating all of you guys to make it to the end. Praise, praise that the standard for greatest and those who ran and ran the race to the end. And so I want to let you know that uh, on behalf of my DG, I want to recognize all of you as being the greatest because you started the program and you are ending it. Uh, on behalf of my DG, we are uh, also happy and grateful to the executive governor of Kora State who was able to make the opening ceremony. Uh, we are also grateful to the Honorable Minister of Labor and Employment who was able to also make the ceremony, the opening ceremony. We also, our party also go to Chief Frank uh, Ovie Ekebori, the chairman of the Governing Council, who was able to make the occasion a success. Uh, I want to let you know that this uh, program that is ending today did not come as a coincidence, but it is as a result of our renewed commitment in the renewed relationship between the Institute and the Nigerian Labour Congress. We are also happy because the, the leader of the Nigerian Labour, the leader and president of the Nigerian Labour Congress and the person of Comrade uh, Ali Iwaba was able to make the trip to this institute for the opening ceremony. We are very, very grateful to the entire leadership of the Nigerian Labour Congress. We are also grateful to the, all the NLC affiliates who are able to send participants for this program. We thank all of you very much. We are very, very grateful. I want to invite you to ask me to uh, tell you that we have just started, we have just begun. This is just uh, the team of the ISBAR. Uh, I want to let you know that in the future, there will be renewed and continued relationship between the Institute and the Nigerian Labour Congress. And I want to assure you that on our part, we will not let you down. We will do our own best to make sure that we live up to expectations. We are grateful to all of you. And what we want to also wish you a safe journey back to your various organizations and destinations. Thank you very much. Don't be the general government. Don't be the news. Don't be the federal government of Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Congratulations to all of us. The learning journey has been exciting. And in the interest of time, I'm only going to say three things. The first thing is the message to the leadership of uh, NLC, including the management of uh, the Micro Remote Institute, that you have demonstrated resilience in continuing to value trade union education and learning. Not so many organizations can still continue to do what you are doing over 17 years, culminating I think 35 years. So we are humbled by this. And I think our participants coming from uh, other countries, Kenya, Sierra Leone, uh, Gambia, and others, this is something that uh, we are taking home. And I think you will also revenge by inviting the NLC to some of your educational programs. The second message is to ourselves as the ILO. We talk about our values, the ILO is a great agenda, but we want to say this week is the week that we have seen the agenda being given life. Because the topics of the school were aligned to the four pillars of the ILO. The last message is to you, the participants. Learning is the journey, and Ayelo is talking about lifelong learning. So we are closing the school today.
today, we are receiving our certificates today, but let the education continue by impacting to your fellow comrades back in your workplaces and let it go on again until we meet again in the next school uh, uh, that will be organized by the NLC. Thank you for the opportunity and congratulations to our uh, Basa, member of the Division Committee to tell us the uh, uh, whole world. Solidarity. Forever. Solidarity. Forever. Anuta. The high table and my comrades. Yes, yes, yes. Honestly, today I'm not comfortable being here. On this side. Yes. I have attended several brain and hospital schools and performed the function of a member of the education committee. For this time around, I decided to be a new speaker in the leadership. So I will So I will allow to be this week. For all the same, I have, and let me put this this way, we, the committee now. We are represented here. I have seen, I have heard, and I have felt the class. And this information to definitely be taken back to our committee. In everything we do, there is the need for improvement. And we have seen some of the challenges, the successes that will improve up, and the challenges that will need to support. So on that note, I want to most sincerely appreciate all of you for the participation and uh, definitely by the grace of God we will improve on what you have seen. That's a good assurance. Knowledge of gender mainstreaming we will continue the advocacy to mainstream what gender is in our various um, affiliates. Number two is networking and experience shared. We believe we believe that we will continue with our uh, sharing network between all the other um, affiliates here present. All the post members will continue to synergize together for more improvement. Then quality quality of facilitators, we want to appreciate their quality and uh, also say that um, we have really learned from them because of the quality in their uh, teaching. We have learned a lot and they are I'm going to also take it back home to make use of yeah, under, yeah, under, under the weaknesses, weaknesses we have inadequate training facilities oh, in the institute. We want to believe that um, this will be improved upon because like in our class there are broken tables and the rest. Then right of course of chosen courses. Uh, most of the participants should be given more um, opportunity to choose the course they want to go in for either gender or um, leadership or organizing. The federal government of our um, so a recommendation, the federal government should put more funding uh, to the give more funding to the institution. And then the third one is um, right, right to choose right to choice of courses which i have said that um henceforth going forward uh, participants should give to be given the right to choose their course thank you I want to thank the organizer of this uh, school and uh, we just have three minutes okay. uh, we want to talk about the uh, achievement yes 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 this uh, school as, a, as given empowerment and capacity building to union members. Go ahead. Talk, talk it, okay. It has also exposed the contemporary challenges posed by COVID-19 to the world of work. 
And another thing is that uh, it has helped us. We were effectively facilitated during this program. We want to give kudos to all our facilitators for doing a very good job. Because please let us do that clap. We, on the weakness, we realized that the management of, uh, of this institute should try to be more, to ensure compliance with COVID-19 protocols. Because we realize that uh, there is no enforcement on that. Also, digitalizing the learning process to give away distance. Uh, okay. No, in that way, sorry, please. In the availability of material for presentation during the plenary, we were not uh, given the materials and it was not shown to us. And also, in the program, there is a room for excursion and sightseeing. This was not carried out. We realized this is not a good enough. And we realized that there is a poor time management. And uh, finally, suggestion. Suggestion. suggestion, please. That management will ensure compliance with COVID 19 protocols. We need to digitalize uh, uh, the learning process to give away distance learning and also to improve facilities. Uh, such like lighting, AC, and other uh, necessary equipment, so that this uh, program will be conducive for the participants. God bless you. Okay, my name is Comrade Adele Matthew. I represent Group for Leadership. Uh, in our evaluation in the total program today, what we first of all start with is the achievement, what we have achieved in this program. First of all, let me go straight to the point because of the time. Knowledge acquisition. Really, on leadership, we have acquired a lot of knowledge, starting from uh, leadership skills, strategies on how to deal with workers, how to how work to motivate workers, how experienced they are, and um, uh, good motivation, how we can motivate workers, how we can tackle problems coming up from workers, and other um, achievements is uh, good coordination. Good coordination in the sense that the admin, with the admin of many in fact, they are very, 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 very excellent and fantastic in terms of um, coordination or whatever we need. Okay, uh, this here. Whatever or whatever we need, the team uh, are giving it to us and uh, we are very, very happy with that because uh, if you look at it, all papers, uh, our hotels, uh, name it all. They are, in fact, they are numerous, we can't count them. The last one on achievement is good facilitation. Good facilitation, we have our facilitators on ground. All materials we need for our program are on ground. Everything that is, that is required, they are on ground. So please, let's give a round of applause. We have the low, the low tunnel by affiliate. The low tunnel by affiliate, because if you look at the total union expected here, is more will up to like 47 and the total participants should be up to like 81. But what we have here today is not up to that. And we are begging Minister Management and also the MLC to please try and ensure to, to do more on this. And also we have an um, improper feeding arrangement. On improper feeding arrangement, our food doesn't come the way we like it. In fact, they, they did, they cook, I won't, I won't say they didn't do well, they did well. The food are okay, but we want them to improve upon what they are supplying us. And also, poor ICT services. You know, today the world is going digital. We want the, 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 the facilities that we use in terms of our ICTs are not up to standard. So, we want them to improve on it. And going so way forward, way forward here, we have an area, this is this, this, this emulation of information to all affiliates. We want ministers and management and LLC to please kindly make sure that information are being passed to the union on time. That is the affiliate. They make sure to pass this information to them so that all other unions involved will come and they return up on time. And also improve on feeding arrangements. We are going to do 
the certificate uh, presentation. Yeah, to be awarded certificate. Uh, one, Ikechi Nwaiwe. Ikechi Nwaiwe. Is it here? Pius. Zidane Kamara. Augustine Hel Mujui. Augustine. Where is the Bara boy from Sierra Leone? Is he here? The Bara boy from. Amino. Augustine is here. Augustine is here. That's the lonely boy from Sierra Leone. Amino Awani. Mwey Leo Isioma. Duro Adebisi. Rosalie Uba Anara. Sahid Tunde Muhammad. Sahid Tunde Muhammad. Roslyn is coming. Roslyn first. Hamed Basa Lawa. Doctor. Ola Jipo, Mikuzi, Akila Ki. One minute, doctor is here. Adeni Rafi, Adebayo. Are you here? Adola Olu Mikresh. Francis. 
Today is the uh, 10th of December. What is this day known for? The 10th of December every month. What is it known for? Okay, somebody wants to make it. Human Rights International Day. Yeah, International Human Rights Day. Today is International Human Rights Day. And if you remember when we started uh, this activity, we told you that we have also been doing uh, the 16 days of activism. So the 16 days of activism actually ends today. Ends today with the, uh, the International Human Rights uh, Day. And uh, in the NLC, we have uh, used this uh, gender-based violence campaign as part of our 16 days of activism. Uh, we told you that we launched a report, a report on gender-based violence, which we presented to some of our guests uh, on Wednesday, and uh, our international guests, we shall present to them today. But to let us know that we are campaigning for C-190, for the ratification of C-190. And the research that was done was done with the National Women Commission with the support of the Solidarity Centre. It's part of our activity towards the ratification of C-190. Because if you are talking about Convention 190, which we all know was adopted in 2019, so now you cannot have to be silent about it. We have done the research by ourselves, like I said, the women did the research. We have evidence, we have that, and we have it as an instrument that we'll be using to campaign, to make sure that we end gender-based violence in the world of war. Because GPPH issues, they are human rights issues. Workers issues are human rights issues. Women issues, and, uh, human rights issues, and that is why today we also use it as part of it to sensitize and to say everywhere, to say no to gender-based uh, violence. An injury to one is an injury to all. So in fact, the NLC has a policy zero tolerance gender-based uh, violence, and that is what we uh, want to do. You see, the, you see the people wearing this purple t-shirt, like the one I'm wearing, and the people that participated in that uh, uh, research. And uh, when we launched the report on the 26th of uh, November, we had a little thoughts which we serve as our our campaign slogan, wherever you want to go, the, uh, the attention of people to any gender-based violence in the world of war. We say no to GBV. We say no. 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 Rati 